guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Kayla and I have a different video for us today. I have been going through some stuff in my house and I came across my great grandmother's old sewing boxes. And I haven't gone through these things in years and I thought it would be really fun for us to go through them together just to see what supplies you know, were popular way back then, see if we could find anything cool. Um, I obviously don't plan on like selling any of these. They've just been boxed in closets and yeah, they were given to me by my mom. So this was her grandma. So I just wanted to go through them together and see if there's any cool stuff in there. Cause I love watching like thrift videos and garage sale videos and you know, different things like that. And I know a lot of times people find these like vintage treasures and stuff. So I don't know if we'll find anything cool. Like I said, it's been years since I've gone through these boxes, but it's always fun to go through old family memorabilia. So. Let's uh, go through them together. I have these two small boxes right here. If I remember correctly from when I was a kid, this is just thread, um, but I literally have not opened any of these. I was like, you know what? That would make a cool video to go through it together. So I just brought them into my studio and we're gonna go through them together. Um, so yeah, so I have these two small boxes and then I also have um, over here down below me, it's a two drawer, um, little like nightstand I guess that has a bunch of her sewing supplies in it so we're gonna go through this last um, so that I can bring you over here and show you so let me bring you in and we'll go through these boxes together okay so this box says SAS and then you can see she wrote on it sewing needs um, this box has been pretty beat up but you can see there's a gentleman right there cutting some fabric um, it says, once upon a time, long ago in 1976, two old Texan shoemakers set out to prove that American craftsmen could still create fine shoes. So this, okay, so I see. So this was a shoe box. I didn't realize that. I didn't read the, the side of it. Hopefully, hopefully that's in focus for you guys. So this is a shoe box and it looks like she paid $71.95 for these uh, Wink Mocha shoes. So that's interesting. I thought he was over here cutting fabric. He's probably making shoes. Okay, so let's see what's in this bag here. Let's see, Dritz Dot Snapper Plier Kit. So, uh, oh, looks like the pliers are right here. So it's really funny, I actually have a snapper tool that I bought to make my own buttons. So this is like original, and so you can see there's still some of the, the buttons there. What else is in this bag? Let's see, we've got Mighty Snaps for heavy duty snap fastening. Pictures like this on old <laughs> vintage stuff crack me up. Let me make sure you're in focus. Cause I mean, like she's she's looking at him putting those snaps on that fabric. Apparently, uh, ladies liked men who knew how to work with fabric. I guess. I mean, she's pretty excited that he's I don't know fixing the the sail or something. I don't know. <laughs> That's funny to me. Okay, and then here's other snaps, but with a different picture. Okay, so those were all in that bag. It looks like we've got some threaders that she bought for 74 cents. I had to look up a lot of this stuff and see how much it goes for now. Snap fasteners. 250 round glass head pins. Let's see what these look like. you don't spill them all okay so just uh, of course I grab one that doesn't have a head on it so just regular regular pins so a whole bunch of white ones in there you've got a very thick uh, bra repair strap we've got some pin cushions these are really cute these are pretty heavy these would also actually maybe they're not pin cushions, or they could probably double as pin cushions, but they, these are pretty heavy, so they would probably make some really good like fabric weights too. So those are really cool. We've got some 
uh, Space Age needles. So that's pretty cool. Some more golden eye embroidery needles. Got, oh. I, is this like a leather needle? Like a, I don't know what this is. I don't know what this is called. What does it say? The all for all, oh, it's an all. Okay, the all for all is what it says. So that is really cool. I had no idea this was in here and it still has thread in it. You guys, this thread is probably, oh my gosh, almost a hundred years old. That's really, really cool. I might be exaggerating on a hundred years. I don't know. Let's see, it says the all for all patented there's like a patent number on it and then it says September 12 through 16. Let's see if you guys can see that if I keep moving the camera. I don't know if you can read that text. And then on the other side, it says, I don't know, C.A. Myers, Chicago. So I don't know, but that's pretty cool. And then we've got, you know, good old measuring tape or Taylor's tape, whatever it's called. Mighty snap attacher for applying number five mighty snaps and number four heritage snaps. Okay, so it has like the instructions on the back. That's pretty cool. And then we've got some binding, some really cool colored binding. I like this, this bluish teal color. Uh, some more binding, just different thicknesses. 69 cents for three yards. Uh, home repair needles for gloves, awnings, carpets, upholstery, car seats, and tents. Look at how big that needle is. I just realized it wasn't even the camera. Look at how big that needle is. That's really cool. And then, let's see. Grant's looping. Okay, so this shows different like stitches and stuff. Looping for fun. Oh wow, okay, so here's this. Okay, I'm gonna come on this side of the camera and hopefully that'll be better. But uh, that's some really cool looping instructions. I've never done like crochet or knitting or anything like that, but these look pretty cool. And then we've got a green seven to nine inch zipper that she bought for 50 cents. Um, I have no idea what this is. But that's pretty cool. And then it looks like something she started. And then a thimble. I should probably use one of these, but. Hmm. All right, so let me put all this stuff back and we'll go through the next box. Okay, so here is the green box. It's kind of like a tackle box. So let's see. Yep, oh, look at all of that thread. Look at those bobbins. Let's see. I have no idea what this metal thing is. It doesn't want to focus. It's like focused over there. Hopefully that first part of the video was in focus. I have no idea what this is. Maybe one of you guys can tell me. And then I've got okay, these. Oh, okay, so these are like needle holders. Those are really cool. Let's see what's in it. That's really cool. These save a lot of space. And I like the lids. Crowley's machine needles. Um, Singer new style white rotary new home. I don't know what that says. So that's really cool. Let's see what this one says. Um, regular US something January 26, 1929. This is almost 100 years old. The Boy Needle Co. Chicago. That's really cool. Oh, there's only one needle in there. I wonder if that's a 100 year old needle almost. Or if it's newer, I don't know, but lots of cool thread colors. Maybe these might be like some fasteners or something. I don't know. Look at this spool. 
I mean, it's still just plastic, but it's cool looking, all shiny. Lots of thimbles, lots of bobbins, little sponge needle holder. Let's see. Dritz Dressmaker's Marking Pencil. That's really cool. That thing's still pretty sharp. Wow. And then this side is like a, I don't know, eraser brush, I guess. I think this is some sort of marking tool also. Maybe, I don't know, and it looks like there's some stuff broken in there. Um, and then we've got sewing and knitting gauge. That's pretty cool. Um, I honestly have no idea what this is. Somebody tell me. Stretch and sew. What does that mean? What is this? I have no idea. And then that is a giant seam ripper. And then we have a key. I have no idea what this key goes to. It's not the box. Hmm. I don't know. Okay, so let's uh, straighten this back out. And then go underneath. And more thread. Let's see, what's this guy? I have no idea what this is. Or what that would go to. I don't know. But, uh, lots of thread. Look at these wood spools. Oh my gosh, those are so cool. And some little mini wood spools. That color, that green, like, emerald color is really pretty. Let's see. Millard's, Millward's, Millard's, Millward's Needles. Precision since 1730. Dang, it's an old company. Made in England. 510 embroidery needles. Oh wow. That's really cool. Okay, some more embroidery needles. These are the same ones we saw in the other box, so she must have really liked those. That is a fat needle. Yarn darners. I don't know what that means. 45 cents though. That's pretty fun. <laughs> And then Invisible Zephyr Zipper, Spring Green. Ooh, that definitely is a spring green. It's like the same green as the box. That's funny. Okay, so I think that's about it for this box. Let's see if I can get this back in here. Lots of fun colors. These wood spools are so stinking cool. I love when I find wood spools. So let me go ahead and put this back. Actually, let me put those on the side. And then I will take you guys over to the big sewing chest. Okay, so here is the two drawer little stand. Like I said, it's kind of like a nightstand. Don't mind my dirty floor, but uh, it's really, really cool. So let's go through the drawers. Okay, so it looks like we've got some buttons, lots of different buttons. These are like beads. Little square button. Big random buttons. Oh, I don't know what this is. It's like, like waxy. I don't know. Did they use wax for stuff? Maybe for the needles? I don't know. I don't know what that would be for. Um, that looks like it would be like a threader of some sort. I don't know. Um, ooh, really, really long chain material. I wonder what she was doing with that. I have no idea what, what this would be for. But it's really, really long. That is a fancy schmancy seam ripper. Singer. That's really cool. West Germany, it says. That's really cool. Seven inch Chester. I have no idea what this would be used for. Maybe to straighten out corners? I don't know. And then another gauge. This little, let's see, waterberry with the letter P on it. The camera keeps wanting to focus on other stuff. Hmm, these are cool. It's 
a little like ring. And what she's gonna use with those? There's two of them in here. Those are really pretty. Let's see, how can we repurpose those? Because those are really pretty. Hmm. And then, holy moly! I just almost poked myself with it too. That is a fat giant needle. Oh my goodness. And then it looks like for eight cents, we got some brass safety pins. That's really funny, eight cents. Okay, I assume this is, oh, I thought it was a seam ripper. Is that a seam ripper? Like, is this what they used to look like? I have no idea. That's really cool. There's like a little hook on it. That's really cool. I thought it was going to be like a regular seam ripper, but I guess not. Okay, so this little drawer shelf comes out. And then we've got some stuff down here. So let's see, there's one gold-plated brass safety pin left on this guy. Let's get that back so I know what went up and down. Looks like we've got some, what are these, some buttons, looks like. Some uh, binding. This is, yep, this is like elastic. Some, oops. Let's see. Some more of those needles that we saw earlier. 10 cents. Can you imagine paying 10 cents for needles? Oh my goodness. Those are some really cool needles. Some, it was just like a tag for thread. There's nothing on it though. So lots and lots of sewing needles. Holy moly. More sewing needles. More buttons. There's a whole lot of loose buttons down here. Let's see, what is this? This is uh, looks like little like bra clamps and clasps and buttons and stuff. This is really cool. Look at this. Singer sewing oil, 75 cents. That is really, really cool. There's still oil in here too. There's a bunch in there. I would I would guess that this is about three quarters full. That's really cool. Hmm. Little like pocket sewing kit. Mason shoes. Is this the thing that like helps you get the back of your shoe on? Looks like it, huh? Like helps you get your heel in your shoe? No. So we've got some more pins. Those don't have like the heads on them though. Those are the real small pins. Some measuring tape. Lots of different like binding. Oh, buttons. It's kind of a cool little like clasp thing. A green like crochet hook or knitting hook. I don't know, don't come after me because I don't know the difference. But it looks like just in the rest of this, we just have, um, you know, buttons and that's probably like marking chalk, pins, uh, different things like that. So I'm gonna put all this stuff back and then we'll go through drawer number two. All right, drawer number two. Jackpot. Okay, so the first thing I see is these pinking shears. Those are really, really cool. Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm gonna set these aside and we'll look at that closer after. That was cool. Okay, let's see. Nylon elastic sewing thread. Some more needles. Needles and pans, needles and pans. Let's see. Man, the second door is kind of stuffed in there. Got some fabric. A little denim square. Mm -hmm. I don't know what this is. Let's see. Sacramento, Sacramento Bee Household Arts Department, Sacramento, California. That's really cool. What's in it? Okay, so it's like patterns. Are these for like hand embroidery? Is that what these are? Huh. 
Huh, that's really cool. Oh, it's backwards. Okay. Sunday. Thursday. Those are cute little kitties. Oh, oh, I can see her handwriting on here. Towel designs. I don't know if you guys can see that. These towel designs. That's really cool. Okay, we'll have to go through those here in a bit. So let me put those aside too. Let's see, what is this? Round crochet shawl with armholes. Fits all sizes. Material six skeins worsted weight yarn. J or K crochet hook. That crochet hook I found up here, that green one, was a size J. Round one, round two, so this goes through the whole thing. The Nine Stitches Needlework Studio and Supplies. Wairika, California. That's really cool. So this goes through all of the instructions. That's really cool. Maybe I'll have to get into crocheting so I can follow this pattern. Okay, so that's where this that denim square came from. There's like a whole bunch of different shades and stuff, and there's some small ones. So that's pretty cool. I wonder if all of these are patterns. True story homemaker department. Do we have homemaker departments in our stores anymore? I don't think so. Let's see. Clothes pins. That's really cool. She must have. I wonder if she actually did that or if it was like my great grandpa or something. I have no idea. I'm gonna have to ask my mom. Let's see, this one's all this one's all cut up. Oh, that's like a like a flower. What's it what is that? A uh, is that like an iris? Is that what flower that is? Oh, that one's really pretty. Oh my gosh. Another flower. Like a petal. Oh, that's that clothespin one. Okay. Oh, I see right here. Okay. Pot holders in bloom for gifts. So this is what it's supposed to look like. How cute. So it's got all of the flowers on there. Look at that little Betty homemaker down there. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. That is adorable. Let's see. Patterns you really ought to have. Order by number, remit at regular price. This is really, really cool. Oh my goodness. Okay, so I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take all of these envelopes that I'm pretty sure are patterns and put them up here for us to go through after this so that we can just get through this drawer um, because being down here on the ground is hurting my feet. <laughs> so, more needles. Somatic Quick Stitcher. That's pretty cool. It looks like she paid, I don't know, 60 something cents for it. All I see is the point six, but. That looks pretty cool. Machine stitch by hand. Every stitch loop locked. This probably came in really handy back then. Let's see. Men's fabric the easy way. Bondex hot iron tape. Ten cents. Can you imagine getting some of our embroidery supplies nowadays for ten cents? Ooh, look at these. Clean cut. Kinda hard to hard to do, but this is really cool. This is some sort of clamp, maybe like a, a I don't know, you clamp it to a table or something. But I don't know, I don't know what you do with that part. Somebody in the comments, let me know. I have no idea. But that's pretty cool. The must be sold by school. So this is just ribbon. We've got another zipper. That one is navy. What do we have here? Looks like this is some binding. 
Some more fasteners. Those ones are really small. Another bra repair. More uh, clamps, fasteners. Look at this, guys. Four cents. Are you kidding me? Four cents. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> more clamps Ooh, what is this guy um made in the usa that's nice i have no idea what this is i don't think the the inside ring comes out i don't know there's like two rings in there it seems like it comes out is this like an old school embroidery hoop there's like a spring right there it definitely moves I don't know. You guys in the comments below, let me know. Is this like an old embroidery hoop? Is this what they used to look like? Because I have no idea. So that's cool. 15 cents. Pin on hooks. Fits over curtain rods. Some more uh, safety pins. Let's see. Tracing wheel with seam guide. That's really cool. Let's look at that later. Some more uh, iron-on denim patch things. Some rope and, I don't know, a weird piece of metal. <laughs> uh, more safety pins. Buttons. Needles. More buttons. A whole bunch of buttons and thread down there. Dress laces. So it looks like just some shoelaces for 69 cents. It's really cool. It gives you a size chart on the back. Another zipper. Blanket binding. That color is really pretty. It's like a mauve, I guess. Let's see. Dritz Taylor Tacker. No sewing. No stitches to cut and pull out. Automatically marks both sides of fabric in exactly the same place. One operation. For a dollar. <laughs> All right, let's take a look at that after. And let's see, Singer Craft. The simple and practical sewing art makes rugs on your sewing machine. I have no idea what's in here. Let's go find out. Okay, so we went through that one and we went through those. But let's look at this. A learn how book. Hmm, 29 cents. Okay, so it just gives you a whole bunch of stuff to learn how to do. How to knit, casting on, how to begin. All right, well, maybe this is what I should use if I want to learn how to knit and crochet. That's really cool. So learn how to. Basic steps for beginners. Crochet, knitting, tatting, embroidery. That's really cool. Okay. The American Weekly Pattern Department. Where is this from? Hmm. What does she have writing written here? Um, hall hanging or wall hanging? That's what that says, but look at how pretty that is. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, look at her handwriting. The old oaken bucket, yellow two yards, rose five yards, deep rose ten yards, henna or rust fourteen. Oh my gosh, that is really, really cool. Look at her beautiful handwriting. People don't write like this anymore. I write in like half cursive, half print. I don't have the best handwriting. Oh my gosh, I'm kind of scared to open this because it's so big and old. I might need to bring my, my camera back farther for this. All right. Pattern number 3140. So it gives you all kinds of instructions. Your color key, your approximate yardage for each, transferring directions, 
different kind of stitches. My mom bought me some uh, hand embroidery kits for my birthday last year and I have yet to use them. I should get them out so that maybe I can complete this one day. Ah, be very careful. Okay. Look at how big this is. This is like, I don't know, like bigger than an 11 by 14. I don't know, but this is really pretty. Oh man, I would love to complete this one day. Another pattern from the American Weekly Pattern Department. I was hoping it would say how much postage was since now it's ridiculous. Or maybe that's what that one's for. I don't know, was it 11 cents? All right, so it looks like we got some elephants with the days of the weeks. Let's see. Oh, that's cute. So same thing, instructions with different stitches. Did I get everything out of there? Yeah. And then here's the patterns themselves. It looks like she already cut some out. So here's Sunday. He's just cruising in his chair. Monday. Monday's laundry day, apparently. Tuesday. Oh, that's cute. Okay. Let's see. Sacramento B. So this looks like we've got some vegetables doing some, I don't know, weird things. <laughs> let's see. I won't take that one out, but uh, let's see. Oh my gosh. Is this how they used to write like addresses? This is like stuck on there. That's funny. Hmm. So another another pattern. This looks like a big a big horse one. So this is probably as big as that house, that house one that we looked at earlier. She really liked the Sacramento Bee. I mean, I know it wasn't too far. They were from Chester, California, so it wasn't too far, but Oh my goodness. The Lord's Prayer. That is gorgeous. I don't know if you guys know this or not, but my husband's a pastor and I love the Bible and this is beautiful. That is really cool. I'm gonna have to do that one one day too. Oh, she's got stuff written on this envelope. Let's see. Looks like just her different colors, black and brown, medium blue, deep red, bright red, deep rose. So the colors that she wanted to use for that. Another Sacramento B one. Oops, some pretty parrots. Let's see, this is probably just her colors, huh? Hmm. Yep, just her colors and how much she needed. Oh, that one's pretty. The deer and her little doe. That one's really pretty. And then, let's see. Oh, that's cute. Now I lay me down to sleep. I pray thee, Lord, my soul to keep. If I should die before I wake, I pray thee, Lord, my soul to take. If I should live for other days, I pray the Lord to guide my ways. That is really, really cute. What does it say? It says panel right there. Okay, so those are all of the patterns that were in there. Some really, really cute ones. All right, let's see. Let's see what this is for a dollar. Okay. Um, I've got to be honest. I have no idea what to do with this. It kind of moves around like that. Hmm. In the picture, it looks like it goes out a little more. Taylor Tacker. No stitches to cut and pull out. Automatically marks both sides. So, let's see. Okay, so is that like a chalk marker? So maybe one side goes on, like, maybe it goes on a table and then you mark it? I don't know. This is kind of hard for me to tell how they have it in the picture right here. 
What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. It's pretty cool that it was only a dollar though. Okay, so there was that. Let's look at this tracing wheel with steam guide. Oh yeah, look at that baby. That's pretty cool. And then yeah, it's got your seam guide and then it has some, hopefully you guys can see that, some notches right there for you to know what your seam allowance is and then you just go along. That's really cool. Just some instructions. Okay, now this, I had no idea what it was, so we're gonna find out together. Okay, Singer Craft Guide. I still have no idea what this is, but there's a like razor blade right here, so I don't know. And then this moves. Let's see, let's read the instructions. Maybe that'll help, huh? instructions are in Spanish. Hmm. Okay. These are in Spanish. I speak some Spanish, but probably not enough to uh, <laughs> translate that. Um, so I still don't know what this is. Somebody in the comments tell me. Let me know. Use three distinctive colors. Okay. Huh. Interesting. I probably thought I was going to get answers to that, but <laughs> I still don't know. Still don't know what that is. I don't know how these were in here together. Okay. Hopefully somebody in the comments can let me know what that is because I have no idea. I mean, it says simple and practical, so apparently I'm just <laughs> a dum-dum. Cause I don't, I don't understand. Okay, and then the last thing I wanted to look at closer together was these, sh <laughs> was these uh, pinking shears. How cool are these? So, it's uh, let's see, it says the Florian Pinker. Plantsville, Connecticut. That's really cool. So it's on like a, a wheel that rotates as you go. And then it has this little guarantee thing. Proper pinking is an art. That's really cool. Guaranteed by good housekeeping. So you know it's good. All right guys, that's gonna do it for today's video. Thank you for coming along with me to look through my great grandma's vintage sewing stuff. I think my favorite thing was all of these patterns. There are so many of them and I'm gonna have to learn hand embroidery because there's a couple in here that I actually would really enjoy doing and would hang up in my house. Um, like this little farmhouse one is really, really cute. The Lord's Prayer. So yeah, I might have to, uh, learn how to do hand embroidery. So leave me a comment down below and let me know what was your favorite item from all of these boxes. Do you guys have stuff from your grandparents, great grandparents that you hold on to? Um, I'm really excited to, you know, just, just have this stuff. It feels good knowing that I have stuff from my great grandma in my home. Um, I didn't know her very well. She died when I was very young, but I know this stuff is very important to my mom. So that means it's important to me. And I don't have a daughter to pass this down to. So hopefully one of my, uh, when my kids are old enough to be married, hopefully I have a daughter-in-law that likes sewing and stuff too, and will appreciate this stuff. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you next time.